Let me start with um, a larger sort of, I want to look at a forest here through all of these individual trees. And it was a busy week in this larger forest here. For the third time, the White House enlisted help of one of your Republican colleagues to block a bipartisan resolution that you have been pushing to recognize Armenian genocide that took place in Turkey. You called out the administration for failing to block completion of that Nord Stream pipeline from Russia to Germany. 71 House Republicans voted in a resolution that basically saying it would be fine if Russia came back into the G7 if they did uh, before they basically gave back Crimea to Ukraine. Uh, is it, have you asked yourself why is it that this administration continues to publicly say tough things about Russia, but in their actions, they don't seem to get tough on Russia. Listen, Chuck, I don't think it's shocking that there are foreign policy disagreements in our government. Two of the things you mentioned right there, the Armenian Genocide Resolution and Nord Stream 2, I think we're likely to get both of those done in the coming weeks. Uh, we're likely to finally acknowledge the horrific Armenian Genocide, which I've been fighting for years to do. I think we're also likely in the National Defense Authorization Act to pass my bipartisan legislation stopping the Nord Stream 2. What that's going to do is stop a multi-billion dollar natural gas pipeline that goes from Russia to Germany and it'll cost Putin billions of dollars. Yeah. And, and so, and, and actually those questions illustrate part of the joke of what we're facing right now. If you look at substance, the substantive policy we are implementing has been tougher on Russia by orders of magnitude than Barack Obama ever was. And, and yet the media is playing along with this show trial the Democrats are putting on in the House. How is it the media? I think the American wait a minute. people wait, are getting wait, wait, really wait. disgusted with it. Do you believe that what the president did with Ukraine somehow was tough on Russia? Or didn't the president, by just introducing all of this delayed aid, play into the hands of Russia? <laughs> you, you know, Chuck, substance matters. By any measure, the president's policy and this administration's policy have been tougher on Russia and actually better for Ukraine than Obama's was. Let me give you an example. You just mentioned Ukrainian aid. The Donald Trump administration gave lethal defensive aid to Ukraine, javelin missiles to take out Russian tanks. Do you know what? Throughout the Obama administration, I repeatedly pressed President Obama to give lethal aid to Ukraine. I traveled to Ukraine. I went to the Maiden Square in Kiev, and they needed lethal aid. But the Obama administration, they sent teddy bears and MREs. They wouldn't actually give weapons. And, and, and at the end of the day... Chairman Nadler doesn't want to talk about any of that. He doesn't want to talk about the substance. It, you know, it was really Senator, striking I, listening to yeah, his comments. At one point he said, well, there's no crime. And you know, he's right. There is no crime. No, he did. Was talking about, he was talking about the president's lawyer, not about the president. But go ahead. All right, all right, Don't all right, take him out of context let's talk on about that. Yesterday. Yesterday. That, oh, you're right. He said, it, at first he said it was contempt. And then said, oh, well, not really contempt. There's no crime. But, but let's be clear about the president, since this is impeachment of the president. Yesterday, House Democrats put out a 55-page report, they called it a scholar scholarly report, th that purports to say you don't have to prove a crime, you don't have to prove a, a law was violated to impeach a president. That's what a garbage, what nonsense. Well, you know, wait a Chuck, minute, that's exactly, Senator, whoa, 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 let me finish whoa, 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 my point whoa, whoa, real quickly, Chuck. That is yeah. exactly why the impeachment... Uh, it, it was written into the Constitution. That's exactly why the phrase high really? crimes and misdemeanors is in there, because they did it before they even wrote our laws, sir. Before we had our... So, so, so how actually, do you know, what the Constitution... How do you... I mean, you you're saying that it is not... That's exactly the opposite of what is true. Chuck, actually, what the Constitution says is you can impeach in a president for treason, bribery or high crimes and misdemeanors. It specifies that That's high right. crimes and misdemeanors. And, and go ahead. And what, hold on, Chuck, don't, don't interrupt what is me. a misdemeanor? What is a mis defined misdemeanor? So high crimes and misdemeanors was a term of art that the, the, that the framers used. And, and you know, it's striking. In, in poker, there's something called a tell. When a player has a really bad hand and they, they, they reveal it, yeah. it's a tell. What we saw last night was a tell from the House Democrats. You, you know, just a few weeks ago, their talking point was bribery, bribery, bribery. They're now admitting they can't prove a crime, they can't prove a law was violated, and here's why. Any president, any administration is justified in investing corruption. And there was serious evidence of real corruption concerning Hunter Biden on the board of Burisma, the largest natural gas company in Ukraine. You know how much Hunter Biden was paid every month? 
$83,000. You know, that That's number keeps changing. There, 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 so far, there hasn't been a lot of confirmation on, on, on exactly all of that. And I know the number changes. And, but and let me ask not? you this. The House won't let me call ask it you the this, House, Senator. But hold on, Chuck. Chuck, 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 yeah. hold on a second. All right. The media ought to care if there's actual corruption. I, I, a million the media dollars covered a year. Do you, you know, know how much you, you make getting you know you serving this? on the board of ExxonMobil? Do you know you how you get $110,000 a year? Do you really Senator, think Hunter Biden with zero The reason you know this information is the media reported making it. making 10 times as much as a board member right. of ExxonMobil? I, I, what I don't understand is why do you believe that if an American is, is committing corruption, we should ask a foreign government to announce an investigation? Is that appropriate or do you go to American authorities? So I believe any president, any Justice Department has the authority to investigate corruption. In this case, there was serious evidence on the face of corruption. The reason Hunter Biden got that position is because his daddy was vice president of the so United States. So you believe States. Ukraine his name meddled? Is Hunter Smith. Do you believe they Ukraine meddled? They wouldn't pay him a million dollars a year do you believe, to, to serve on the on the board. Do you believe Ukraine meddled Look, in the American Ukraine, election in 2016? I, I do, and I think there's considerable evidence. You do. You do? Yes, also, and, and Chuck, let me I, say. I, this is, I, you know, Senator, this sort of strikes me as, as odd. Because I, you went through a primary campaign with this president. He launched a birtherism campaign against you. He went after your faith. He threatened to, quote, spill the beans about your wife about something. He pushed a National Enquirer story, which we now know he had a real relationship Chuck, with the editors of the National Enquirer. I appreciate you're dragging Enquirer. up all that no, garbage. Senator, That's very kind is of it you. Not, is it, let me ask you this. Is it not possible that this president is capable of creating a false narrative about somebody in order to help him politically? <laughs> Except that's not what happened. The president released the transcript of the phone call. You can read what was said on the phone call. Yeah, and the and Biden's, let me point out again. And you, were, that the, you, oh, oh, you yourself it, thought the Biden Chuck, part Chuck, was troubling. Chuck, let me point out a game that the media is playing. You know, a question that, that you've asked a number of people it, it, is you've, you've said to senators sort of aghast, do you believe that Ukraine and not Russia interfered in the election? Now, that, that in, in, in a court of law would be struck as a misleading question. Of course Russia interfered in our election. Nobody looking at the evidence disputes that. Uh, but the what president the media United is States pretending does. is, uh, look, n it, on the evidence, Russia clearly interfered in our, ev in our election. But here's the game the media is playing. Because Russia interfered. The media pretends nobody else did. Ukraine blatantly interfered in our election. The sitting ambassador from Ukraine wrote an op-ed blasting Donald you know Trump why? during the election season. Do you season. know why he did that? That is what did unusual. Donald, what, did Donald Trump, what did Donald Trump as a candidate say about Ukraine and Crimea during the election that might have inspired the ambassador? So you're saying the they ambassador. had disagreements with no, Donald Trump and I, they wanted Hillary saying, Clinton to get elected. Okay, so they wrote an op-ed. I'll tell you, they a wrote Ukrainian an op parliamentarian. That is the difference. What you're saying are, are you, is you're saying a pickpocket, which essentially is a Hill op-ed, compared to... Bernie Madoff and Vladimir Putin. You're, you're trying to well, make, you're trying to equi equi equal, make them both seem equal. I don't, I don't understand that. Ch Chuck, Chuck, I understand that you want to dismiss Ukrainian interference because a, they were trying to get Hillary Clinton elected, which is what the vast majority of the media wanted anyway, and b, it's inconvenient for the narrative. You know, it's hysterical. Two years ago, there was article after article after article in the mainstream media about Ukrainian interference in the elections. But now, the Democrats have no evidence of a crime, no evidence of violating the law. And so suddenly, Ukrainian interference is treated as the media clutches their pearls. Oh, my goodness, you can't say that. Last week, Chuck, you called Senator John Kennedy basically a stooge for Putin. I did not. The press but needs don't to stop basically. being ridiculous Senator, and just and, and are acting you concerned? like they work for Adam Schiff. Okay, so did you get the briefing from the intel community that said the Russian intelligence services are trying to actively use this Ukraine story to frame Ukraine? For the Russian, for the so interference in 2016. I have been 2016. in multiple briefings. I have been in multiple briefings year after year after year about foreign interference in our election. Russia's tried to interfere in our elections. China's tried to interfere in our elections. North Korea's tried to interfere in our elections. Ukraine has tried to interfere in our elections. This is not new. 2016 is not the first year they did right. it. And they're going to keep trying. And so we need to, to be strong in dealing with it. Okay. But, but the media needs to actually report facts. This is a kangaroo court in the okay. House. 
They're going to impeach, not because they have the evidence, but because they hate the president, want to do the election. But it's going to go to the Senate. It's going to go nowhere. And I think the American people know this is a waste of time, and, okay. and, and this is Democrats putting on a circus.